Hey folks, welcome back to this Let's Play multiplayer of European Solomons 4. You're not, this is Perry. And I'm Cab. And you're not imagining things. There's a minor time warp here. Is we need to take a step back and make yeah, sure we knew what we were doing. Yeah, I apologize. I kind of had a, yeah, rage quit moment. Well, this, but... you don't have to apologize that, that much. Pretty much anyone who's played EU4 has had those moments. <laughs> So. Yeah, we should remember this, that they, they would actually end the war. But, uh, yeah, I don't I don't, don't think there was a, it used to be a warning when you declare war on a subject in an independence war. I don't, and if I, if I, if that warning was here, I missed it. At any rate, I am going to make a small little peace deal now, right away. And the important thing is Keb has now demonstrated some of the important game mechanics. Get the hell out of a war with the subject before the, before it it gets out of the war with its overlord. Oh yeah, I should I should have made peace the second Stockholm fell because that was the turning point. Then right, that peace deal has been sent, so as long as they don't make peace simultaneously. Right. Unpausing. Yay! Oh, so you went for that border to try to protect Sweden from Moscow, so you yeah. eat on it later. Okay. Yeah, because that should make them less eager to actually take that land. As long as they like me, of course, that's the other thing. They don't like me, so I'm, I'm their new new hate, hate muffin. Looking at their uh, land they want, they suddenly don't want Finland at all. So, well, that's good. If you had been militarist, I would not have dared that. <laughs> But he wasn't, Not being so. a diplomat. He's an administrator. That's what he's picking a fight or declaring a rival, a small coastal country on the other side of Europe. And in other news, Francisco Franco is not yet born. For those of you who don't get the reference, that is called history. They used to teach it in schools. There you go, I have some independence, people. I'm going to get my armies it? back. Hmm, 10 prestige or 50 admin. I'll take the admin. Not a war with France, but... Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, you're talking about yeah. England? Austria and Holland just fought a battle outside of Paris, not involving France. Oh. <laughs> it's a war over Burgundy, apparently. Burgundy is at war with Liege, Austria, Provence, the Papal State, Savoy, Genoa, Theodoro, and Circassia. Or Circassia. Austria is at war with Burgundy, Nevers, Brabant, Flanders, Holland, and Brittany. So it's kind of like an early Dutch revolution, just without the Dutch. Oh, right. I got a fort over here, too. Now, that one... Oh, you got Viborg. That's good. It's one of my favorite... Actually, one of my favorite little places in the world. Oh? Just... I used to play a lot of Empires in Arms. I think that's still one of the best board games ever made. And I always was surprised that that fortress on the uh, Swedish-Russian border was th this one of the strongest categories in the game, so I did research. It was just such a neat little random spot of the world for such a heavily fortified fortress and yeah, stuff like that. It just stood out, grabbed my attention, and then I learned a little bit about it, so it's how I pick up a lot of my, my, my trivia. The sad thing is, I can't afford these forts. I really can't. Uh...
Do extra maintenance now for them, or delete them and rebuild them at a later date? I don't really... What's going to be the most pricey thing? Well, let's see. You're going to spend, what, half a ducat per month if they're offline. It costs oh, 200. Mind. What? The Independence War ended. Okay. In which case, I can stand on the forts because there's no way I can actually fight Denmark. No friends. Okay, um... So one of you are going to hate me anyway. Um, fine, side with the clergy. Oh, the village is going to hate me for a while. On the bright side, we have a new and dynamic king. He is just... <laughs> just a little bit better than the last guy. Well, that too. <laughs> just in time to be made fun of. He's Justin Bieber. Really saddens me watching... Uh, watching the growing Portuguese trade port of Dororan. What to what? The growing growing Portuguese trade port of Dororin. Dororin. Dororin, yes. It's across the seas. Someday, someday, someday we too will cross the sea. No idea when though. Like like, like your forefathers. And Dororin is actually just due west of the Cap Cape Verde Islands. It's almost right on top of them, really. At least I got a chunk out of the sweet now. Should be happy about that, I guess. Clartev? What the hell is Clartev? Clartev. Really? Alright. Clartev. Have you had your Clartev today? Try new Clartev. Clartev Van Clartev. Yeah, it's just there's no salvaging that name. What is it? Oh. That I didn't realize. Okay. What did you not realize? Uh, the northern parts of Norway, Finland, and the, Co the Kowalba Peninsula are actually the same state. Okay. You know, that has to be for gameplay purposes, because I don't think there's ever been a state that controlled all three of those. Not that I can remember, at least. Oh, thank you, Denmark. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What did Denmark do? They rivaled England. How are those two even still on the same scale? I have no idea, but that should make England a lot more pliable. I, that, that's actually not true, because England hasn't rivaled them. So England's at, England can't, it's at war. Yeah, that too, but uh, they won't unless you or France or Burgundy are no longer valid rivals, so that's not going to happen. Or maybe. After they finish taking this part of Ireland and everything else they're burning to the ground, who knows? Well, they won't outgrow you, and they won't outgrow France, and, uh, well, they might outgrow Burgundy, depending on what the heck they are. What the heck Burgundy's is Burgundy doing? They're on the receiving end of Austria. Not just Austria, my goodness, look at that 
Austria, In, Provence, the people's states, Liege. So. Hey, hold on, hold on. I already read them out. There's no reason to make people hear it twice. Oh, I didn't even hear no, it. I know. <laughs> I'm... No, I never pay attention to what you're saying. I'm well aware of this. <laughs> Love you, Cab. Just hope you remember that when I kill you. Now you're safe. Rail, rail will kill me first, so. Klartev. New industrial strength, Klartev. <laughs> Portugal got the Grand Banks fisheries. Yep. I was expecting that. Well, they did have a colony, so... Sweden will not rise up again. <laughs> Why do you say that? In the limited side, it's now 5.3. Well, they were on the receiving end of a rather embarrassing war. They're still actually stronger than Denmark. And they would have won this if they just, instead of going after me, if they tried to liberate Stockholm or keep Stockholm safe. Oh well. It is an imperfect world. It is indeed. So, Renaissance, are you spreading anywhere towards me at this point? Truce with Scotland has ended, and that's great, except I can't really take advantage of it. And the best thing that, for, that could happen for me is that England decides to peace out Scotland by breaking their alliance with France. That would be perfect for me. Oh, England got the papacy. Well, that reminds me. I'm buying a ticket in the paper lottery. I've got a golden ticket. Here's the thing, though. Their war was with, well, was with Sligo. So I don't know what they're going to take from... from uh, Scotland, if anything. No I, suppose, I suppose what will happen now is that Scotland will just disappear. It is the fate of all Scots. Or not. <laughs> Scotland would seed five, and that's it. Little nibble here, little nibble there. And they're still allied to France. Uh, let's see, it's time to build some cannon. And it looks like, yep, there goes Burgundy. Burgundy lost all their, at least all their, not all their unions, they lost the, lost Holland. Only Holland. Yeah, Bur yeah, Burgundy came out of that better than they should have. Just saying. Okay, Kitty, what is going on? Uh, yeah, I'm hearing cat sounds downstairs, and that the, the scary kind. They clean up the floor, kind. Or they brought you a present, kind. Very much that, yeah. Can you pause for a second? I need to go and check on them. That's fine. May you find a rodent and not a burglar. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Short break. Don't worry. I can't do that for very long. I get bored. So we're going to try to discover the secret of Keb's inner, inner workings. First we'll look around. First we find his country. Again, bored. I am interested about the sea zone though. I had a map which showed, there we go. 
This Mariner's Lament is huge. Huge, I tell you. Huge. And I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh, no worries. You know, no major emergency. Well, that's good. Just cat being cat. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm sorry about that, folks. I'm ready. I'm ready. Woo! Wait. So I'll, I'll at least I'll be editing that bit a little bit out. I think. <laughs> What's that? I'll be edi editing that bit out. I hope you do the same. I don't see why not. Oh, I don't see why. Or you were, or you were, you were very entertaining while I was gone. Oh heavens, no! I know better than you. I tried for a few minutes, but then again, it's like, nah. Give everyone else a chance to go get a drink. Yeah, after the first hour, I'm sure you got bored. Or get drunk. You weren't gone that long. <laughs> Someday Where we'll afford a building. What's that? Someday we'll afford a building. Something like that. <laughs> no, Austria. I know better. You're a good friend. You're reason a reasonable neighbor, and we're going to keep the, you at arm's length. Because that doesn't that prevents me from getting pulled into wars with France. Okay, I thought... Doesn't that count as adjacent? No, it doesn't! Well, oh, shikes. Okay. Uh, I assume that um, provinces across the sea zone count as adjacent for uh, institution spread purposes, but they do not. No, only with crossing arrows. Ah, uh, okay. That kind of explains my confusion then. Arg. Very much arg. Uh, if I had diplo points to spend, hmm. that's gonna be a lot of points. Let's see how much any Renaissance plus one. Oh, good lord! Well, Renaissance will be here in 1596. I suppose I can wait. <laughs> <laughs> It's just so tragic. Okay. It is kind of, kind of slow getting up there, isn't it? Jeez. Oh yeah. And since you've had low monarchs, you don't have the points to ra rapidly develop a province. Yeah, exactly, and that's that. Yeah. The right, current king is probably the best one I've had all game. I think zero zero five three. And the air is at 3 through 3, and I don't know if I dare disown him. I mean, I want something better than 3 through 3, but. Do I dare? <laughs> do I think the game will be kind to me if I do that? If you think the game's gonna be kind to you, you have not been paying attention to these games. Why is my money going away? Hell with it. Um, we're gonna try. We demand perfection. Why is my income dropping? Because I stole it. I wish. At least I could explain that. And part of it's my colonial maintenance, so that's eating part of it. Oh. My trade... My, my trade might be dropping off. Oh, no, I know why it's dropping off. I just built a bunch of cannon. It didn't drop. My army maintenance went way up. Cannon, eh? A good thing you reminded me. That means no war until that. Until I have that. Uh, that's gonna be forever. So now we'll carry a little bit of cannon instead of a lot of cannon. A lot of cannon. A lot of cannon. Mm. Can 
cannon's only really useful if you can afford to keep it. True enough. Good lord, the Mariner's, Mariner's Lament Seasone is huge. Oh, Hungary is no longer hungry for my rivalry. I'm still going to be their rival, though. Just, just be petty. Although I could replace them with Moscow, just to... Yeah, by all means, rival Moscow. That would... That's a nice rival to have. Uh, it'll cost me 100 Diplo points to cancel the ri rivalry and replace ah. it, so... Oh, in that case... Is yeah, because right now, well, let me just straight up re replace it. You guys have some serious, serious beefy rivals. Mm hmm. Okay, so th what irks me is that Bear took a good chunk out of Sweden, right? Yes. It didn't lessen their uh, army, it increased it. I would have thought they couldn't afford it, but nope, they still have an army. Well, now. Well, now they're mad. Oh, yeah. But they have no liberty desire anymore. Well, they saw what it got them last time. It's not the other army's about the same. Hmm. Their cap's gone down, so it's... Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, well. Guess I'll wait for the next opportunity. Like, I was thinking about declaring war on Denmark right away, as soon as I made the peace with Sweden. But then I thought, you know what, I need to let Sweden get their capital first so I know that they won't suddenly join them back on the other mm -hmm. side, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, come on, England. Distant war, huh? Distant war on England is in debt. And you have a truce with Denmark. Tensions. Um. Oh God. They fed you. Oh my God. I hate this event. Oh God. What event is it? The tensions between through? nobles and clergy. Oh, that one. Yeah, that one's a pain in the ass. And I can't afford to fight a reg uh, um, <laughs> fight a rebellion that's larger than, larger than my own army. So I'm sorry, Pope. I mean, you're gonna hate me. Hopefully, England won't uh, um, excommun excommunicate me. Or is that at minus fifty? I forget. Is that zero or it's minus fifty relations with the Pope? Oh, I don't know. Stop my head. If it's at minus 50, I'm safe. But I think I'm gonna keep that diplomat down in Rome for a while. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, glorious. <sighs> Cat sounds in the background again. Oh. <laughs> at this point, they're just doing it to mess with you. Oh, yeah. No, oh, and it reminded me to go and clean up some puke in the next intermission. Own a cat, they said. It'll be fun, they said. You'll enjoy it, they said. The, the true mat, the true thing you have to do is just find a box the right size for the cat. Once you've done that, the cat's happy for the rest of its life. <laughs> What's the penalty of using conquistadors as generals, right? Yes, for using them in the old world, yeah. I think that's 50% or something like that. Okay, that's unfortunate.
So I have two choices. I can either develop up uh, Copenhagen, something fierce, or I have to drag or the Renaissance up the old fashioned way. Oh, yeah, and where's my fleet? There you are. The old fashioned way conquering the Renaissance nation and having them do it for you? Let's see, where's the darn button? I need some Good lord, Portugal. Portugal already has 10,000 men and 11,000 men in the New World. I can explore again. Woohoo! And where'd my money go? Well, yes, of course, because I'm not only protecting trade. I'm paying out the nose right now to keep these forts. I just... Uh, kinda have to. Mm -hmm. well, you, when you need a fort, you need a fort. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. Game? That that's mean game. That's mean. What? What did they, it do? Uh, you know what? I disinherit my air, right? My yeah. three two three air. I got now got a two three two air. But my queen regent is four six four. Just make her the queen and kill the and kill the new heir. <laughs> yeah, I would love to, but that's not sadly not possible. Uh, and I can't disinherit this guy because I need zero prestige. So I have to wait until I get up to zero prestige before I disinherit the new kid. I'd loan you some of mine, but he doesn't work that way. Uh, Arm and provinces to win. Liberty desire of zero in Castile. I like this. And it's that time again. Well then, I guess we will take a short break here. And I'll go clean up some cat puke and we'll see when we resume. Yeah, on that note, folks, <laughs> go get a chicken. They don't throw up. <laughs> Thanks for see watching. You later.